I had one for for Ms. Rogers. I can come back. Go to ahead. That. Yes, go ahead. Um, um, Ms. Rogers, a couple of days ago, the the blog Red Broward reported that you your campaign had given twenty five thousand dollars to uh, Purple Bird Communications, a company, a Delaware incorporated company that shares uh, an address uh, with your campaign office. Can you tell me what that company is and uh, who owns it, who controls it? Okay, I have a staff and a team that works with me, volunteers with me to manage my campaign, all right? So I heard the same information yesterday. I know, and I don't have all the details. I'm in, I'm learning and finding out issues around who that company is, if they are certified and they're doing, all I'm concerned about is getting the work done. Getting the, people, can I con continue? So okay. go ahead, go ahead. You contract with numerous people to do different things within your campaign. And I have a campaign strategist and group of campaign consultants, and I follow their guidance and their lead. And if there's an issue with a company because it's out of state, or I don't know if the company has been has done anything that is wrong, I don't know, but you can help me and educate me. But I know that after I saw it, I went looking. All right. Uh, but they, they share an address with your campaign office. They do. They do. The company, Purple Bird. Oh, it's a Delaware incorporated company, but the address listed for it is the same PO box that's listed as your campaign headquarters. I can assure you that is incorrect. Well, I will, I will, we can have that conversation. I don't know how that came up as having an address in my with my campaign because my campaign does not have an address other than my house. That is where I'm operating this campaign out of my house. Then I do have a PO box. So I did not know that that PO box is being used on anything for that company. But it can be explained. Trust me on that. Ms. Rogers, uh, just a follow-up question, if you don't mind. I mean, it's very easy to incorporate a business in the state of Florida. Why does why did a company that's working on your campaign need to be incorporated in Delaware? I did not know where they. I personally was not involved in dealing with. I have someone managing the contracts and the in and everything for my campaign, but I will look into it. I have no issues with explaining anything. Steve, you know me. I am frank and open and transparent as day. So well, let's let's some let's information be, let, and share. Let's be fully transparent. Uh, and uh, I've got your campaign report on my screen here. Are you, Miss Rogers? Are you your own campaign treasurer? Are you the treasurer of your campaign? I think I'm listed as a signer on my campaign. But if you look at all the checks, you might not see me signing not one. Because well, we don't see the we don't see the checks, but I mean uh, you're the candidate. June sixteenth, your campaign gave three thousand dollars to Purple Bird Communications, Post Office Box six zero eight three, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And that is my. That sounds familiar. That is my PO box that I've had for years. Okay, but Steve, I can tell you, I will find out. You know how that is. So write that down as one of the things that I must respond. I'm writing that down also. Sure. Okay. There was, uh, we, we stand behind and are responsible for everything we report. Uh, we're not responsible for that information reported by other news organizations, but we do read it. That same article that Dan Sweeney referenced in on the Red Broward website said that Hazel Rogers has a history of making campaign violations involving sure. campaign finances. Is that a true statement? Negatives, no, and they need to cl clear up what they're talking about. You can't just throw things out there. And okay, it's Ms. Not verified. Uh, Ms. Ruiz Nicholas, do you know what we're talking about here? Do you have any comment about it? I have to tell you, I've been so busy with my campaign, I am not aware of it. But what I do want to say is, this is my first time running. I am involved in every aspect of my campaign. My husband and I, we signed the checks. We know the vendors, and I'm I'm not aware of the issue, but I know it's a lot, and I particularly have my hands on everything. Okay, 
Thank you. I, I just want to, I'm sure I'm speaking for my colleague, Dan Sweeney and Ms. Rogers, before we issue the endorsement in this race, I think it's, we want to know who owns Purple Bird Communications. Who is that? Right, Dan? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I, I just, from what it looks like right now, given that it shares an address with your campaign office, it looks as though you're paying yourself or a family member for, uh, for campaign work. So that's what it looks like right now. And I just want to know, you know, specifically who owns that company and why they share an address with you. That's all. Okay. But trust me, no, no family member, no one in my family or even my closest volunteers are being paid. They are volunteers for us. But yes, we do have contractual services with other providers. Okay. I have a 